Alright, so we're on our way to Fresno now to see my family. And we should be there in about 40 minutes or so. In more exciting news, I have finally been able to, I don't know if you can see because of the glare, but I've finally been able to get the Pokemon Go game. So I am on it. I am doing it. I'm already on level two and I just started this morning. So I have joined the nation. Yeah, so everybody else is playing Pokemon and I haven't been, been able to because we weren't able to get it, but I did get it. So now I have jumped on the Pokemon Go bandwagon. So I'm really excited about that. That's like a highlight for me today. So we're in Fresno, we're here. And Richard's just gone in to get some drinks for everybody for Monoxo. But this is the coming into Fresno. Okay, so we got to Fresno, we visited a little bit my family, um, and now we're in a really famous uh, part, a different town um, that's called Plateros. And here there is a church of miracles. So I thought that, um, they would like to see it, so we just came. just cows on the side of the road like this. Here, hold on, London, and here's another cow. Ah, no, 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 I see No, I see Look at, they have these cows here so that you can stand on top of them, and they sit on top of them, sorry, and take a picture, which of course I'm not gonna let the kids do because I think it's cruel. Um, but, and here's a little pony, and they would do the same thing. They do the same thing with those, but anyways. It's all a part of the experience. No, what did he say? So it's very different here. They're cooking different stuff. Lots of pork, pig skin and stuff. But it is the way it is. Yes. Lots of stores with religious paraphernalia and lots of Mexican artifacts over here. And the church is up here. so. But people come from all over to this church to ask for miracles. And that's kind of why this is like a tourist destination. It's very Catholic, why they have all the rosaries and the pictures and all of that stuff here. So this is the entrance. I'm not going anywhere about you, so just... Okay. No, gracias. There's lots of more things for sale in here. There it is. So we're inside the church. So it's really pretty. And here, this is the church where, where people come. Basically, what it's famous for is a, a child saint that is a miracle. And people come here from all over to ask for miracles. And it's Catholic. But it is very, very pretty. There's a picture of the Virgin Mary, I'll get it in a second. Yeah. That's what's Lots that. of flowers and all the candles you can light. Oh, and on the candles here you can see the Santo Niño Atocha, which is the Saint of Miracles. And this is the saint that everybody comes to this church for to, to pray or ask for miracles. So there's a big thing with Jesus. I mean, the churches are very, very pretty. And we'll go into the next part through here where you'll see all of the miracles that people ask for. So now there's a separate room here that's quiet, I guess, if you want to pray. And all these religious figures that I can't even... There's the Virgin Mother, Virgin Mary, the Pope. I don't know who all these people are, nor can I pretend to. But there's Pope John Paul. And this is very quiet, more private area. Now here... It says silencio to be silent, but out here, here is where they have confession. So if you want to go do confession, they have confession set up there. And out here is the part that I find the most amazing because this is where all the people put all of their personal things to ask for. Richard's trying to keep the kids under control, but I don't think it's their thing. It's okay, but out here is where all the, the miracles that people ask. Just don't run away. Here, you can come with me. You don't have to hold Daddy's hand. If Teddy doesn't want you to run away, 
Okay, ah, look, here's the rock. So here's the story. There's a glare. On the 15th of June in 1790, there's a glare. This is a rock that the person, apparently somebody fell and hit their head on this rock and died. And this child brought them back to life. And, and that's the child that is now called the Santo Niño de Atocha. So that's the, that's the rock. And that's when it happened. And then there's... And it says the story down here, but it's all in Spanish. Mm. So I made a mistake. I thought that the person fell and hit their head on this rock, but that wasn't the case. Somebody actually murdered them with this rock. And then this child saint prayed and brought the person back to life. And thus he became the child saint of miracles. So I always thought that the child, that somebody fell on the rock, but that's not the case. They, um, they were murdered. And here people come from all over and put, put things on the wall asking for miracles. So here, this is one that's saying, thank you for the health of my child. And some are asking for miracles and they bring personal things and write letters saying thank you. All of these, all of these people either thanking for miracles or asking for miracles. And again, there's a picture of the saint. People come. London, what do you think? It's pretty cool in here, isn't it? Do you like? You don't like it? I said it's so cold. <laughs> no, I said it's pretty cool. Yeah. Like it's neat. Yeah, not cold. So here's a story of a girl that said she was very sick. She was in the hospital. Doctors didn't know what to do. They couldn't fix her. But after her praying to the Santo Niño de Atocha, then now she's healthy and well from Fort Worth, Texas. So people come here from all over the world. i just put things. You can see some of these have been here for so long, they're really old. And then others are more recent. I even people left shoes and babies bibs and lots of personal, personal things everywhere. There's London. London, I can't see you. London, you're hiding. Where did you go? I see you. There's a bunch of people. They're going to do a, a race, and it's organized by the church, so they're starting here. That's why they're all here, ready to go to the race. And then they're going to start to race. Okay, you can, you want to get you want to buy a toy? All right, mommy, I'll buy you one. Just wait. We'll go. We'll go look in a minute. Okay. There's another toys down there, right there in front of us. Right this way. Be careful on the steps. Right over here. There's some toys. Linda wants to buy something. She's like determined, even though it's all just kind of junk. Okay, Linda got and they got the horses that they wanted. Let me see your horsey, London. Turn around. Let's see. There you go. All that for a horse. But we found them. Here's all the runners ready to go. We're trying to make it back now to the car to go around them because it's really, really warm today. It's hot. Yeah, they're running. The race has begun. There they go. You want to run? No, then let's go. Benji wants to run. Go, Benji, go. Oh, it's so hot out today. So that was really, really hot. We were pretty quick, um, but we saw everything, so that was nice. And now we're going to go back to my aunt's house, and we're going to eat some gorditas, which are really traditional to this region of, of Mexico. So the gorditas are really good here, so my aunts have gone to get those, so we're all going to have that to eat. I think everybody's hungry and hot now, so it'll be nice to go back and just relax. But that was Plateros. So now... We're back in Fresnillo, which is where my mom grew up, and this area here is called Los Portales, so we're walking through here. We're going to go up to the main, like, little town square, I guess. There's another really pretty church, and I think we're going to get some ice cream, but this is Los Portales in Fresnillo. We're almost, Benji's got his London cell phone singing away. And here we go. London and her cousin. 
Hey, London. I know you're on the camera. Yep. Snapchat, she was gonna say. Hola, Iker. Mira. There's balloons. Lots of good stuff up here. We're gonna get ice cream here. But Benji sees they have this brincolin and he wants to go on it. That's all he wants to do. You wanna go on there? Okay, well let's wait. Just let's wait. Two different types of character. The person optimist and the person pessimist. The person optimist is the one who comes to the party and says, "Wow, you're the best one that I've ever met." For the kids. Well, optimism. The pessimist when he comes with his face of guaracha and says, "And now the big turn." He's over here. The optimist is when the fruit is animal. Lots of food and snacks. And we're gonna walk and see. We get fresh waters. Very yummy. These are fresh waters, so they'll be different. Okay, yeah, but fruit. Water. Yes, water. Now we're going into the entrance of the church. Now, Owen? Hi. Are you I having a good see. time? Yeah. You look good, you look good. Yeah. A little bright, a little blinding. But anyways, we're coming. We're going into the, the big church to see this. This church is like in the center of town. So, it's so really here's cool. the big church. It's way up. This is actually the church where my um, my sister and I were baptized here many, many moons ago. And it looks like there's a service. There's a service on right now, but. Benji, what did Benji get? Bubbles with a whistle. That's gonna be fun. No, you have a ball now, you have a ball, okay? Oh, what? They're knocking on the door. Están tocando a la puerta. They're knocking on the door. What are you doing? What are you doing? You should be scared. ¿Qué estás haciendo, Iker? Here we are in Karina's, where she was baptized. You want to walk to the front? Yeah. Okay, let's go. It's weird that I'm not returning. I know. Come on, let's go to the front. Look. I know, but we're just going to go see. They found another door. Richard's trying to open bubbles. He keeps blowing the whistle. Hey, te vas a salir en el YouTube así. Maltrato animal. Le voy a decir lo que mismo. Oh my gosh. Are you ready? The whistles. Well, guys, it was a little bit hard to to finish the vlog today. Really, we had a great day um, visiting Plateros and Fresnillo and my family. Um, it's really late now, that's why the lighting is so bad. I'm just sitting in a corner of the kitchen of our hotel room because the kids were so tired after all that running around in the town square um, that they fell asleep in the car on the way back to the hotel and they are out like a light. So that was pretty much it. I know it was a bit of a Miss Mosh vlog today, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing some parts of Mexico and some culture and history there with the things we visited today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.